Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Should Have Been Read It. Today I'll be doing my best books of 2021. So before I get started, I actually did film this video previously, like before I moved. I'm actually in my new spot right now. Um, everything is still very disorganized. Like this, this is not even the best part of my house, uh, my apartment, but it is the place I can film that looks more presentable. But the thing is, I did film previously, like before I moved. I'm not sure what happened. The files became kind of corrupted. So I am refilming this. And yeah, like hopefully it's not too uh, messy because <laughs> this has been like, I pre filmed this like maybe two weeks ago. Uh, so I don't remember like everything that I read now. Like, I didn't even have notes. So it's going to be very, hopefully, I'm not too rambly. And secondly, I do want to apologize for my neighbor in the background if you can hear him. I don't know if you can actually hear him. I can hear him pretty loudly, but uh, I don't know if the audio in the camera will pick it up. Uh, hopefully, this is not going to be a reoccurring thing because, yeah, like he talks pretty loudly on the phone so <laughs> i did not realize like i don't hear that neighbor like at all so i'm not sure like why that neighbor i can hear like very loudly like i don't know if he just talks louder or what the situation is but that apartment and my apartment like we have very thin walls i guess because i can hear like his conversation um hopefully he i just i feel like he's just talking very loud because i don't hear that neighbor like at all um Anyways, I'm excited to talk about the books that I loved in the past year. Also, just letting you guys know before I get started that this is not in any particular order. Um, these are all books that I just really adored. There are technically 11 books plus a series, so I guess technically it is 12 books that I really adored. It was really hard narrowing it down. I had a lot of trouble. Uh, I originally started off with like maybe 15 or 16 books that I absolutely loved and when I compared it with the other ones I was like there were just some that were better like stood out to me more. So those are the ones I am recommending in this video but I cut it narrow down to just 10. So there are technically 12 books that I'm very excited to share. Also before I get started I am not going to go into too much in terms of the synopsis for each book because I mean the thing is I have discussed a lot of these books in length in a lot of my videos so I just don't feel a need in reiterating myself over and over again. Plus there is Goodreads, there is Amazon, there's Barnes & Noble, there are a lot of websites out there who will probably provide a better synopsis than I can give you. Um, so I will link the Goodreads link down below for each of these books that I am mentioning, but I'm not going to spend too much time or any time really talking about the synopsis. I'm just going to talk about why I enjoyed each of these books. So the first book that I really want to recommend is The House in the Cerulean Sea. This this book was just absolutely lovely to read and it was just so breathtaking. My favorite part about this book was definitely the character development and their relationships. I love just reading about Linus's growth as a character because he started off very timid, uh, very much a homebody. Like all he did was go to work and then he just went to home. Um, he like, hang, hung out with his cat and that was essentially his entire life until he got the secret assignment to go you know visit the house this orphanage at the cerulean sea and he goes there he experiences so much and realizes that there's so much more to life than just his job and his cat um he makes these really real genuine friendships with the children of the orphanage he also you know becomes friends with the master of the house. Um, it was just so much to this book that I really adored. There's also a lot of cute friendships between the, the children and they're just so endearing. Like I am not a children person, but these children like in the book were just so cute and adorable. Um, so like everything about the, like this book is definitely very character driven. Like there's still a lot of good plot going on in terms of like the secret assignment, what's truly going on with the orphanage, the whole agency situation. There's definitely a lot going on, but I would say the key, the star to this book is definitely the characters. They're just so endearing and they're just adorable. Uh, I love reading about all of them. They're just dynamics. Everything was just wonderfully done. So if you're really like big on characters and character driven reader, then I definitely recommend this book. So the next book that I want to recommend is Legendborn. This book came at such a surprise for me because I don't know, I just feel like recently I have been gearing more towards like other genres or more like adult fantasy versus young adult fantasy. So for this one, I don't know, I just feel like I haven't been reading like amazing young adult fantasy in a very long time and you will see that there's probably 
And there's only one other book on here that is a young adult fantasy. The rest are other genres or they're adult fantasies. Um, but this book was just really, really well done. This one I feel like is a good mix of characters as well as plot because the plot was so intense it was super gripping i never knew what was going to happen next there were so many twists and turns um there was this huge huge like plot like climax scene at the end that took me by surprise because i was not expecting it whatsoever um it definitely made the book so much more interesting and such a good lead up to the sequel which i'm very excited for the second part is the characters i really like all the character dynamics and especially because this book follows a young black woman um in a very like historical traditional um kind of like white dominated society like secret society so her perspective as a young black woman in that kind of society is just so like eye-opening there's just so much about this book so much going on for this book that i really really enjoyed and i definitely cannot wait to continue on the series because uh, i cannot wait to see what will happen next all right then this next book is we are not free this is a young adult historical fiction i did not read a lot of historical fictions this year but this is one that was stunning because i loved how it was portrayed um in a very t like very specific time period that i don't think is mentioned very much especially in young adult literature uh, essentially follows these i think it's like 11 or 12 teenage japanese teenagers who were living during the japanese concentration camps or the internment camps and it was just so fascinating to read like from their perspectives about how they were treated during that time period from when they were just free roaming around i think it was like san francisco where they were born and then they were forced to you know move to these very like enclosed spaces um, they were treated very harshly uh, and then whenever they did go out or afterward um, like how they were treated by people and how it was so hard for them to just like rent a place for example because there would literally be signs outside me like no jabs allowed stuff like that um and it was just so like it was just so different like i've just never read any books like that um in his like a historical fiction setting so i thought it was super fascinating and not only that but i was very intimidated by the fact that it was following like 11 or 12 povs but it didn't hinder my experience whatsoever because i felt like the author did a really good job of seamlessly weaving all of these perspectives together in a very cohesive manner um and it wasn't like we were following 12 perspectives like throughout each day it was more like one perspective and then it will lead into someone else's perspective like very seamlessly and i think we end up going back to each person like a second time um to see like their perspective like as time has changed or something i don't remember exactly but just know that the author did a really good job just like weaving all the stories together um in such a good way that i was not confused like at all so overall like this was such a good book it was just very eye-opening um it was just an incredible read and very emotional too then this next book is empire of gold this is a third and final book in the david bot trilogy um, i managed to finish the series finally this past year and i'm really excited for it because like i can finally see why everyone loves it so much because it's so good it's so rich it's so beautifully written i love the characters it's just a beautifully crafted story um i would say that the second book was probably the weakest out of the three but the third book was just beautiful like i loved everything about it from the characters to what was happening to them to the plot um there were just so many like different layers that was woven together and i just felt like everything about this book was just beautifully done and beautifully crafted um i definitely cannot wait to see what else this author will bring in the future i believe she has a new book coming out soon i did see it on like instagram the other day so i'm very excited for that and the cover is stunning so i just cannot wait to see like future books by this author because she is definitely really good at storytelling and just bringing everything to life uh, so i was super happy that i finished this book and it was just beautiful like it was just stunning that's all i can really say for this all right then this next book that i read is one that i'm very surprised about and that is love hypothesis i was not expecting to give it five stars i was expecting it to give it maybe like four stars something like that um, i've seen so much hype about this book 
prior to reading it and i was just like they can't be that good right it's a romance it's an adult romance like it's just like it'll be fun it'll be entertaining but usually like romances for me are like four so i don't really rate them five stars but this one was just beautiful it was just a work of art um i love the character dynamics in this book and just their uh, obstacles as they had to face throughout the book especially like as a like a student slash teacher kind of relationship but thankfully she was like a grad like a phd student i believe um so she's definitely not like a teenager or anything like that she's like in her grad school and he is technically a teacher for other grad students um so they're not actually like in a relationship in that sense which is why it wasn't really good teacher student relationships and it didn't really conflict any of their like interests um basically he was just another faculty and she like their relationship started uh, but it was just like so cute and i just like loved like their interactions like that's all i can really say like it just made me smile throughout the entire book i was so happy reading it um it was just such a good time and the ending too was just so cute especially like when you find out like i already knew pretty early on that that was probably like what was happening um but to see the girl kind of like realize that oh like this is what happened it was just such a fun time like i was like cheering her on the entire time but like can you just like figure this out already but yeah there's also a steamy scene that was very good yeah like that's all i can really say i feel like the one thing i do wish that this book had was more steamy scenes because they only had that one scene and other than that though it was very much like peach 13 which is fine like it was still like a really fun read and obviously it's on this list for a reason um so yeah like overall highly enjoy it highly recommend it it was just a really great crafted like romance book then this next book is winter of the witch which is the third and final book to the winter night trilogy this was such a surprise for me because if you have watched some of my previous videos i was not a huge fan of the first book um i didn't like dislike it or anything like that i just didn't love it and the only reason why i continue on this series is because i think my roommate ended up giving me the third and final book which is this book um for whatever reason like i forget it's a while ago but she ended up giving it to me and so i was like well now that i have the third book i might as well just pick up the second book and see what happens and i because i didn't like hate it or anything like that i was so curious to find out like what would happen next and let me tell you I fell in love with the series like it was just so good I definitely want to like reread the first book again because I think I had read that like at a time where I couldn't appreciate like beautifully like very lyrical writing I feel like now as a reader I've definitely come to appreciate and love like lyrical writing and I feel like this book is very much in veins with spinning silver so if you love spinning silver you love like russian folklore you love these like folk tales um like magical like realism kind of way like i think this is a really great book and at that time when i first read the first book i don't think i was like in love with that type of writing and in love with that type of style so it didn't really resonate with me but now that i am this book was just so good and i really want to get like a really cool exclusive editions of the series because this series is just so good it's beautiful um it's very lyrical the writing is stunning uh if you love really good writing very gorgeous like writing style in a very lush world uh plus very good intricate characters I also really liked the relationship that she had with the Frost King. Um, it was just, it was like one of those very like tantalizing uh, romances that was like it was just there but a little out of reach and you're just like cheering them on kind of but then like things kept happening you're just like can you just like get together like it's just that angst and I was so here for it so if you like all of the above i highly recommend the series okay then this next book is the other young adult fantasy that i absolutely adore this past year and that is six crimson cranes i knew right away that i was going to love this book because i have really enjoyed her previous books in the past um so i had really high hopes for this one plus this cover is absolutely stunning like i feel like all her covers for some reason are just so beautiful and the original cover is stunning and then i have the fairy loo edition which is like even more stunning like it's just like like i never okay so like when the first book came out i was like 
or when the original cover came out i was like oh my god this is gorgeous i can't see like anything else topping it and then the fairy loop version came out and i was like wow like that is just something else like all together so point is though like her covers are gorgeous and the inside is equally as gorgeous because i love the plots i love the characters i love all the obstacles that they had to go through um there was just so much that was just like also kind of funny like i felt like her books have a really good mix of serious like obstacles and adventures plus also mixing a lot of fun and just like you know comedic moments so overall like i really enjoy the plot i also love the characters too so yeah definitely cannot wait to see what will happen next in the sequel and just can't wait to see like more of all the characters and yeah like it's just a really good book all right then this next book is a bone shard daughter this book was amazing i don't know if this is really a young adult fantasy or was like a adult fantasy i would say it's more geared towards an adult audience but I really enjoyed this book. I was not really expecting much. I actually didn't really hear too much about it. Like I've heard it, like the, I've seen the cover here and there, but I haven't heard too much in terms of like people's reactions to it. So I went into it really not knowing what to expect. And I was completely blown away by the writing and just how like intricate the plot is because like I said, I was not expecting it. So it just, you know, took me by surprise. I would say that my favorite part would definitely be the perspectives, like all the different characters. So I believe it follows like three characters, something like that, or like three different like areas. And I liked how the author, um, provided those povs because it gave a lot of insights into not just what was going on in like the emperor area like the princess and everything but also the surrounding areas and how in the second book which i believe is the final book the ending to this series um will bring it all together and just have them collide and i'm really excited to see like how that will happen and like how that will unfold so i'm very excited for this book i highly recommend it if you love really good writing if you love really good plot and characters um, i feel like this author definitely brought all three to the table so i cannot wait to finish off the series okay then this next book is the series i mentioned earlier and that is china rich girlfriend and rich people problems both of these were just so fun and endearing so this is another series that i just I had so much fun reading it was such a good time for some reason crazy rich asian this series is just so entertaining but also like not too over the top because i really think that astrid as well as rachel are both very like down to earth very like chill characters so they really like balance out how crazy some of the other characters are um not just that but nick too like nick is also very down to earth like despite his like upbringing because some of the other characters i'm just like whoa you guys are a little too much here but because of the three of them i feel like everything becomes very well balanced especially because the book essentially focuses on rachel and nick's relationships with some other like characters and their relationships you know mingled in as well so overall like i just had a really good time there's so many funny moments i also felt like the book was very relatable to me as an asian american because rachel's asian american and i can see like a lot of where she was coming from um not just like from her perspective but how other people perceived her as an asian american so the whole thing just felt very relatable to me personally um so it just made the book like so much more i think all right then this next book that i absolutely loved in this past year is the four winds i actually did a whole dedicated book review video on this so i'll link that above and down below you can check that out but since i did talk about a lot more in that video i'm not gonna go too much into it now but all i can say is chris and hannah is one of my favorite authors for good reason i think she writes beautiful stories i think she has amazing characters i always feel like at the end of each of her books i feel so invested with what was going on with all the characters and you know like what was happening to them and i feel like her story just brings so much like emotion like i don't know what it is with her writing but you just feel so connected to all the characters like this is the same with the nightingale this is the same for the four winds the great alone like all three of her books like all of her books that i read previously i just felt so connected and like i just like at the end i'm just like this was a masterpiece like i don't know like and she writes so many books too like she doesn't write a book like every five years kind of situation i feel like she writes a book like every year and they're all like that so it's just like how is this author so good that like every single books of her like i am never disappointed so 
I think that just says a lot to her as a writer and that's what I'm gonna say really about this book because this book was just so freaking good. All right then this last and final book that I highly recommend and this is actually recommended to me by my sister. Um, this is The Vanishing Half and prior to me picking it up I was not actually tr going to pick it up at all. Um, I've heard stuff about it especially through Book of the Month but because I didn't really like I don't know it just didn't really strike my interest um, until my sister was reading it over the holidays I think last year she was like this book was amazing um, definitely check it out it's so good and so I decided to pick it up um, and it was amazing like the characters were so good like it was because what stood out to me for this book was the characters i feel like i'm definitely a character driven person but this book basically follows like these twin sisters where one of them decides and they're both like white passing um and one of them decides to basically pass off as a white person and how her life changes like so much door like so many doors opened up to her simply because she pretended to be white and the other sister stayed black essentially and her life was just so different compared to her sisters even though they're literally twins and because of the life that they chose for themselves the husbands that they chose for themselves um the white passing one end up marrying a white man and so their kid literally looks like you know blonde and blue eyes whereas the other sister married a black man and their kid ended up looking you know like black you know typical and like how their lives are just so different because of the decisions that their parents made that their moms made and i don't know it's just so fascinating to read about just how different their lives were even though they were literally twins like i think that's the what part that like mind boggles me it's like these are twins yet their lives change so much simply because of the color of their skin and how they wanted others to perceive them i thought that was such a fascinating like tale and there's just so much about this book that i thought was so intense and so gripping um i also really love their daughter's perspectives and how even despite you know like their mothers like not like talking to each other um living very separate lives for so long they end up finding each other and it's just like it's just so different i just felt so riveted with what was going on in the story and at the end i was like wow like i just can't believe i read this masterpiece and i can see why it was one of the best books of last year it's just so good like that's all i can really say um so anyway those are all the books that i highly recommend that i read this past year that i absolutely adored let me know down below which books have you read this past year um or any of them on this list have you read any of the ones that i read on this list that you disagree with that you're like why is this on her list let me know down below but as always if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up or about to tap on my channel and don't forget to subscribe down below as well as hit the notification bell as always don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye